how it's busy here today. Hey folks, how you doing? Welcome back, it's Charlie. It is Sunday morning still, I think? Yeah, I think so. April 2nd, 2023. It's a lot of fun, it's an Easter thing here. Like some sort of brunch or activity, I'm not exactly sure. I'll put the link down, but this is a lot of fun. Look at this, they got a live band. <laughs> a lot of families all dressed up. Kids look absolutely adorable. They're just like this is cute as heck. I knew they were gonna do something, but I totally, totally forgot. There are a lot of folks. When I got here, there were, there were some folks that were already lined up, but after I came out of the mall, wowzers were kind of like wrapped around this area. There are a lot of kitties all dressed up in their Easter best for that Cinnabon to open up. Okay. Uh, I'm over here um, on the Mona grounds. <clears throat> All right. What happened to Friday? Yeah, well, Friday has certainly come and gone. That's pretty evident. Oy. Um. No. No. Certainly quiet. I mean, just a little bit of argument back and forth here and now. Uh, definitely, everybody's everybody's up at night, you know, and it's just bizarre. I I don't know. I do know that uh, April commences at, for me at least. I'm not sure about uh, for, for Dion, but I do know that it does commence for me to. Uh, start paying the rent again and yesterday I was uh, after kind of drown myself out you know with, with the headphones you know I got uh, I got like a couple of them you know I got the in-ear uh, I got the over the really cheap budget uh, bone conducting which is kind of cool that way I can still hear what I'm what I'm doing online or whatever and I can still hear you know outside because sometimes the only time that I know that you know there's an argument or something you know really physical or, or the house is getting destroyed or something something you know you know I feel the vibrations up so I kind of I usually like to do mix it up and then when it is really bad and they're really really just messed up out of the minds and stuff like that and they're at each other's throats then I just put my over-the-ear budget headphones on and uh, just try to drown in everything out but no because yeah it, it doesn't look I wasn't I wasn't putting all my I wasn't putting all my eggs in that basket the basket was still empty I wasn't even gonna put anything in there but um, hope Yes, always, you know, maybe it's the only time, obviously, that I'm obviously doing it to myself, is the only thing that I've been sugarcoating anything, and that is to me. But I mean, is that really sugarcoating? You know, is that really just bullshitting myself, or am I hoping? It almost seems similar in so many ways, right? 
I just don't know. <clears throat> so I, you know, the text that I sent to the to the landlord was basically, you know, so I'm, am I to understand correctly that I'm gonna be paying rent now, even though there's a house full of squatters. And I even uh, forward that message to Dion so he can see what I sent to the to the landlord. I just uh, I I don't I really don't know what to think anymore. You know, this is just uh, this isn't right, and I can't I can't really really do anything moving forward because I don't know if I'm gonna come home to peace and quiet or am I going to come home to chaos or is chaos going to abrupt slowly or you know am I going to capture another uh, illicit drug trend probably possible drug transaction you know um, with her and maybe involving young members of the, the neighborhood so let the police station know I show the the videos and stuff like that. So I, 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 I don't know. I mean, this is just the most bizarre thing I've ever encountered in my entire life. You know, these last three plus years have just been so freaking bizarre. Yesterday, I was, or earlier today, I was in uh, in Hollywood. I wanted to do something, but. I lost my train of thought. I wanted to get some. I went to the farmer's market. Didn't really film anything. And I honestly, I was just walking like a zombie. I wasn't, I just really wasn't paying attention. Nothing really seemed of interest. Uh, one Korean hand craftsman uh, caught my eye. I got the car. It's pretty interesting. I'm gonna, I'd like to go to... They got a showroom down in Koreatown. I'd like to check it out. Beautiful earthenware. Uh, handmade. But I just... Fuck, man. You know, I just... It doesn't... I don't understand the sense in paying rent and having to pay for, for the surroundings. That, that, that's... That's certainly not in the in the lease. That's not in the contract of uh, Union Station and that I hold. You know, so what the hell. And I left the house really, really early. I I, I was planning on uh, going to another park and checking it out for a, for a hike and show you folks. And as I was, as I said, as I was. Oh, Goodness. So uncomfortable here. <clears throat> As I was um, leaving, you know, and uh, walking out of the farmer's market, just I started walking kind of westward on the boulevard, and I'm just like, yeah, no, no. And then I just kind of walked, kind of walked a few blocks around, just, what the hell am I going to do? See, I have, I have an appointment today here in uh, uh, Glendale. For a, for a job interview at two o'clock, so I'm extremely early. It's shoot, it's like twelve now. So I left the house around eight o'clock, I think, seven thirty, eight o'clock. Just stupefied. I'm so bummed. disappointed and as I always say the disappointment really usually for me as I've taken it as a life lesson is the disappointment comes within myself because I should have known better than to put it. En enough trust in, in someone else you know and humans are humans people are people and even more so now these days there there's no ethics it seems like I mean don't don't go, don't get me wrong. I know there is, but people are just hypocrites left and right. You know they say 
say something and they don't go through it or they do something completely opposite. It's like so society or something has turned into the politicians, you know? A lot of hypocrisy. A lot of finger pointing. You know, and just people don't want to own up to what they caused or took part in. Sounds like something's going on over here. Anyway, my friends, that's about it. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I still got a couple hours before uh, I get to this interview. So I'll definitely, I'll post later. Probably get in. Hopefully, give it a half hour, maybe 20, 30 minutes. So I'll probably be back in Pasadena maybe four. So I'll post some time later today. And I I forgot too that the, the wiggle waggle the wiggle waggle walk. Say that fast three times. Wiggle waggle walk. The SBCA uh, thing that they do at the Rosewood is really, really cute. A lot of dogs. Uh, putting on the dogs, you know, and looking at their best. Or would a dog be putting on a cat or a human? I think the dog would be putting on a cat. We put on the dog. Yeah, and I totally forgot. Uh, I don't like this brightness. It's kind of glaring on my eyes. So that's about it, basically. I was really hoping, you know. I haven't talked to my, my roommate yet, and so I don't, I don't know what his thoughts are or what, but... I can only imagine. I can only imagine that he's probably just as upset of the idea of um, paying rent also and, and living in the midst of it. They, they, all she's been doing actually for the last couple of days is just nailing and nailing. I mean, I grew up when nailing was, you know, you just nail these big three pound <laughs> nail spikes into the wall for everything, you know, and then whatever. And you just spackle it up. She nails for everything. I use those 3M products. But, uh, and yeah, I guess I don't know what's what's with the landlord or anything because as I had uh, responded to one of the comments, I haven't I haven't been to the front of the house in weeks, in a few months at least. I think two three months. And uh, I can't even imagine what the front room looks like. Let alone how her room is. It's just... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway. Yeah, you folks take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. But always take care of yourselves first. Love one another. Trust one another. Be kind to each other. Help one another. Don't take it for granted or any other day thereafter. Live for the moment. Pull down your pants and slide on that like this video hit the thumbs up if you like what I'm doing we're doing hit the subscribe button hit the bell notification button tell your friends and family about me about us what's going on there yeah. total flop comments good or bad please post if not email love you all stay safe be smart and be kind Bye.